Tulsa neighborhood, a North Tulsa neighborhood, is experiencing a rash of AC unit and copper thefts. New at 5, 2 News reporter Patricia Santos is in the area where police have responded to hundreds of cases since this past December. Patty? Well, we're in an uh, area near 36th and North Peoria, and this is a good example of what neighbors are waking up to. Their AC units taken apart, the copper and other metals stolen. Irene Beavers is livid. And they steal the copper, they get $50, but they make you spend two or $3,000. Crooks forced her to replace her AC unit, but this time she's making sure thieves don't return. I don't like spending my money unless I have to, mm -hmm. or if I want to, mm -hmm. not because some crook decides they want to spend it for me. Weeks later, thieves return for her neighbor's AC unit also. A new lock and gate now stand in the way. Police say some 400 metal theft cases have been reported in the city since December. I think it's happening more so during the day. At night, many folks are home. Between 6 a.m. and 2 p.m., they suspect. In this neighborhood, there's at least been eight units stolen. Over there, they just started. Sylvia Chandler says things heated up within the last three weeks. Crooks left her AC unit in pieces, taking only the copper. This is how she's making sure. It doesn't happen again. And then I also had to get a cage on mine as well as attach my alarm system to it. So that's an extra almost $2,000 in my pocket that I didn't have. Victims are hopeful their loss will be someone else's salvation. I'm hoping that this message will reach out to others to help them be proactive to protect their property. And police tell me crooks will usually target a neighborhood and then move on to another neighborhood. So just because this hasn't happened in your area doesn't mean it won't. And to prevent this from happening, they ask you to report any suspicious activity and also get to know your neighbors. Live in North Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you.